Hello, I'm Dick Buchanan. The worst has happened and you've forgotten your Windows password. You do have some options to get back up running again. As a last resort, you can just reinstall the operating system and all your programs. This is time consuming and painful because you'll lose all your data. Let's look at another way. In this video, I'll show you a third party tool that can clear the password and let you in. If you've used the encrypted file system or EFS to protect files and folders, the only way to get them back is to know the original password. You could try another program that can recover the password for you. Click on the link that just appeared to see a video on that method instead. Before we go on, I must warn you that using tools like this can result in a possible risk of data loss. In this video, we'll show you how to download the utility, create a bootable CD, and run the program to clear the password. In the description below this video, there's a link to download the file. Since you can't get into your computer, you'll have to use a second computer to download the file and create a CD. We recommend a Windows 7 computer to simplify things. Let's get started. You can click on the link in the description below this video or open an internet browser, enter the URL, and press the enter key. We want to download the CD version, so we'll scroll down to locate it. We click on the bootable CD image link, then click the Save button. We'll select Desktop so we can easily find the file. We click the Save button. and we open the folder. We right click on the compressed file and select Extract All. Click the Extract button and we see that the file has been extracted. We're now ready for the next step. In Windows 7, it's an easy matter to create a bootable CD from an image file. We right-click on the file and click Burn Disk Image. Since we want a good burn, we'll check Verify Disk After Burning and click the Burn button. If you're using Windows XP or Vista, you'll need to use a third-party utility such as Nero or Roxio. We wait for the burning to finish, we click on the close button, we're now ready for the next step. We place the CD in the DVD drive and start the computer. If your computer doesn't boot from the CD, you can consult the owner's manual to learn how to do this. We have to wait while the Linux system loads. We must select the Windows partition. In this case, we enter a 1 and press the Enter key. We want the password reset, so we enter a 1 and press Enter. We want to edit the user data, so we enter 1 and press the Enter key. The username Forgetful has the password we want to clear. We enter the name exactly as shown and press the Enter key. This is case sensitive. We enter a 1 and press the Enter key to clear the password.
Now we type an exclamation point and press the Enter key. We type Q and press Enter. Finally, we type a Y and press Enter. Type an N and press Enter again. You can now remove the CD from the drive and reboot the computer. We click on Forgetful's login icon and go right to the desktop. No password is required. I hope that using what you learned in this video will get you back into your computer. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and come back for more Windows tips. So long for now.